530. We're looking out for you. Now at 530, we're counting down to the Winter Olympics in Sochi, and there is growing concern about security there. In fact, a congressman from North Carolina is set to meet or set to meet with Russia's president. He's forced to cancel that trip because of those concerns. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. I'm Bill McGinty. And I'm Anjanette Flowers. Right now, there is a heavy police presence in Sochi. Russian authorities are hunting for at least five suspected terrorists who have dropped off the radar. U.S. officials say Russia isn't sharing much intelligence about those threats, so the U.S. is taking steps to protect its own citizens if needed. NBC Charlotte anchor Ben Thompson talked with a local congressman who now finds himself in the middle of international efforts to keep the game safe. Ben. Angie, it's no secret that there are tensions between the U.S. and Russia. So local Congressman Robert Pittenger, head of the Con Congressional Task Force on Terrorism, was scheduled to meet with Russian leaders in Moscow to talk about sharing more information about the terrorist threat over there. Well, those meetings were canceled by Russia. Just 15 days to go. Well, they've got severe security issues. Right now, obviously. Congressman Pittenger, part of a delegation, stepping in to encourage more sharing among international intelligence agencies. I want to uh, uh, create a, uh, a, a need and a requirement that we work together on security issues. This ought to be done. The threats in Russia coming from the region known as the Caucasus. The hunt is on for at least five suicide bombers, but U.S. officials say Russia is not cooperating in sharing intelligence. Chris Swecker knows firsthand how important that is. Because intelligence is the key to good security, and, and if they're not sharing intelligence with any other services, then it's, you know, it's, a, it's a solo act on their part. He lives in the Charlotte area, but was the on-scene commander for the Winter Games in Salt Lake City just months after 9-11. What did you learn from Salt Lake City that you think could be helpful over in Sochi? Good intelligence, good cooperation, and don't be the weakest target, if you will. Um, don't let your guard down. A small number of State Department and FBI officials are on hand to protect Americans in Sochi, and two U.S. warships are stationed off the coast in the Black Sea. Congressman Pittenger now left to work diplomatic channels to keep U.S. athletes safe overseas. Well, and I respect the Russians and what they want to do and what they want to share. Uh, that's, their, that's their choice. Uh, I believe it is in their best interest for their country to secure Sochi. And late this afternoon, Russian officials offered to reschedule that meeting with Pittenger. As we speak right now, his office is now trying to find a flight that would get him to Moscow by tomorrow. Angie. All right, Ben, thank you. NBC Nightly News is 